Welcome or welcome back to I Need Help at C Square. In this example, we uh, have a parallelogram. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. And we need to find the measure of the number angles. Angle 1, 2, and 3. And down here you see the definition of a parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral a polygon of four sides with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. So that means this BC and this AD are parallel. And sometimes you can see this sign. And AB A, B, and D, C also are parallel segments. Um, and parallelogram has some property, and one of them is that opposite angles, so like B and D, are congruent. Angle B congruent with angle D, which means the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle D. And if you take a look, B is 121 degrees. So what means that the measure of angle D will be nothing else than this 121 degrees. And angle D is nothing else than angle 2. So measure of angle 2 is 121 degrees. Uh, but let's take a look to the other two angles, 1 and 3. And if we take a look to this angle 1, which is this angle, okay, that angle and these angles are congruent. Why? Because AB is parallel with DC. That is the definition of the parallelogram. And those two angles uh, are alternate interior angle. So I'm going to say here angle ACD, let's use this form, is congruent with uh, angle CAB. And I'm going to put here the reason, alternate interior angles, which means the measure of angle ACD equals the measure of angle CAB. And as I said, BAC or CAB, this, this angle is 43 degrees. And ACD is the measure of angle 1. So measure of angle 1 is 43 degrees. And we have one more. We have uh, angle 3. And let's take a look to angle 3. Angle 3 is this angle. Okay. So basically, for finding the angle 3, we need to find the angle BAD. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say this angle of three arcs, right? And the measure of angle BAD, that one that has three arcs, plus the measure of angle B is 180. Why? These two angles are consecutive angles in this parallelogram, and they are supplementary. That is another property of a parallelogram. Or you can see this like... Uh, consecutive angles or same side interior angle if you think about BC and AD being parallel uh, segment. So basically now a measure of angle BAD plus 121 equals 180. We can subtract 121 from both sides and we're going to get uh, 59. And that is, like I said, the angle BAD. But angle BAD is nothing else than the sum of the angle BAC, which is 43, by the way, and the angle CAD, which is angle 
3. This is the protractor postulate. Um, so now we have uh, BAD, which is 59, equals BAC, which is 43, and CAD, that is the angle 3 that we need to find out. So in order to find angle uh, 3, I'm sorry, not C, we just need to subtract 43 on both sides. So the measure of angle 3 is uh, 16 degrees. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.